Hi everyone, welcome to Book Cravings. This is the third part of my bookshelf tour and I will start showing you guys uh, the series Blackthorn and Grimm. The first book is Dreamer's Pool and the second one Tower of Thorns and I still have to buy the third book. Here we have Warbreaker by Brendan Sanderson and The Rhythmatist also by Brendan Sanderson. I still have to read these two books. Next we have a special edition of Elantris, the 10th anniversary author's definitive edition, and the Mistborn series, The Final Empire, Well of Ascension, and I still have to read the last one, The Hero of Ages, a really nice series. And my favorite book by Brendan Sanderson, The Way of Kings, this is the first book of the Stormlight Archive. And the second one, Words of Radiance, I still have to read. I hope it is as good as the first one because The Way of Kings became one of my favorite books of all times. Really, really nice. I strongly recommend it. The third will be released this year. Here we have A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, A Dance with Dragons, and I still have this one to show you guys, a Game of Thrones, an illustrated edition, this one is signed by George R. R. Martin, a really nice edition, strongly recommended, full of color and black and white illustrations, The Ice Dragon, a children's book, and A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, another book that is fully illustrated and I still have to read it. And I also have The World of Ice and Fire. This is a book containing many information about um, the world of ice and fire. And by Patrick Breathfuss I have The Name of the Wind, The Wise Man Fear, and by Robert Jordan, The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, The Shadow Rising, and The Fires of Heaven. And I still have to read books 6 to 14, A Crown of Swords, The Path of Daggers, Winter's Heart, Crosswords of Twilight, Knife of Dreams, The Gathering Storm, Towers of Midnight, and finally, A Memory of Light. Look forward to complete this one. And I'll show you guys some paperbacks, some Brazilian paperbacks. This is the Wild Root Dancing. In Portuguese, it is Dança da Floresta. And this is how books are published in Brazil. Usually, we have hardcovers but our paperbacks are like this one they are a little more durable than than the standard paperbacks they have flaps and all Sibel's Secret they are both by Juliette Marillier a fantasy writer that I really enjoy and my favorite YA series here we have The Demon King O Rei Demonio in Portuguese the first book of the Seven Helms series Next, The Exile Queen, Rainha Zelada, The Grey Wolf Throne, the third book of the series. I still have to buy the fourth one, but I have it in English, a hardback, American hardback. And also by Julie Marillier. This is the ugliest cover I have, but the book is good. It's called Daughter of the Forest. It's the first one of the Seven Waters trilogy. This is the Son of the Shadows, the second book of the trilogy. And Child of the Prophecy, third one. I still have to read the second and the third one. I really enjoy Juliette Marillier. And here I have a really old collection of the Ancien Future King. Here we have the first book, The Sword in the Stone. And it's really nice that these editions, despite being paperback, they have nice quality paper and they are illustrated by Alan Lee. I have the first four books, unfortunately I don't have the fifth one. And I tried to buy the fifth one second-hand, but it's really, really expensive here in Brazil. And the second one, The Witch in the Wood, in Portuguese is A Rainha do Ar e das Sombras. All of them illustrated. The third one, The You Made Night. And the fourth one, 
the candle in the wind. Next, by Marion Zimmer Bradley, one of my favorite authors, we have The Mists of Avalon in four volumes, Mistress of Magic, The High Queen, The King Stag, and The Prisoner of the Oak. I am pretty sure I mentioned before that I love Bennett Cornwall, and here we have The Grail Quest, Harlequin, Vagabond, and the third book is Heretic, and I also have The Warlord Chronicles, and I really enjoy it, this interpretation of King Arthur, the first book is The Winter King, the second one The Enemy of God, and the third one Excalibur, a novel of Arthur. And also part of the Grail Quest, I have 1356, and I also have books 1 to 9 of the Saxon stories. I still have to catch up with this series, but I love it. I've read the first two books, The Last Kingdom, which is the first one, and I loved it. And I still have to read The Pale Horseman, and I want to read The Lord of the North, Sword Song, The Burning Land, Death of Knights, The Pagan Lord, The Empty Throne, and Warriors of the Storm. These are the ones I already have, and this series is really, really nice. I love Bernard Cornwell. Moving on, we have more fantasy, this time by Raymond E. Feist. I still have to read the Rift War Saga. Here we have Apprentice, Master, Silverthorn, and a Darkness at Senathon. From the Empire Trilogy, I have Daughter of the Empire and Seventh of the Empire. I also have here um, present edition of Outlander. I've read this first book, it's okay. And the second one, Dragonfly in Amber, I still have to read it. A present edition of The Name of the Wind from the King Killer Chronicles. I read this first one in English and I have also The Wise Men Fear in Portuguese, but I'll probably read it in English. I have here a really old edition of The Lord of the Rings. This is the first The Lord of the Rings edition I bought. Look how yellowish it is. I bought it in 2001 at the time of the movies was released. Also The Hobbit, the oldest edition of The Hobbit I own. This one has better quality of paper. You can see it's not yellowish and I store them together, so... Actually, acid-free paper here in Brazil is <laughs> really unknown thing. It's impossible to know the quality of the paper, unfortunately. And that's one of the reasons I'm usually I avoid buying as national editions and translations. But I have many books, as you can see. Another one, this is a hardcover Brazilian edition of The Hobbit. This one is nice, I like the cover, the paper, mm, I'm not sure. A really, really old edition of The Silmarillion, my favorite book by Tolkien. This is not the edition I own, I lent my original edition for a friend and he destroyed it and he gave me a new one. This is Unfinished Tales and Reverendum. Here we have a box of the Arabian Nights, Volume 1 and 2, a really nice box, I really love it, despite being a paperback, the quality is really good. Here we have an old book I've read many times, Wild Swans by Jung Shang. It tells the story of three generations of uh, women in China. I really love it and I strongly recommend you to read it. The title in English is Wild Swans. This one is really, really old, as you may see, but I love it. The Legend of Murasaki. Actually, this book tells the story of Murasaki Shikibu. Look how yellowish. Arr, I hate it. But the book is nice. It tells the story of Murasaki. She's the author of Genji. And here we have the Brazilian editions of Musashi, volumes 1 and 2. White paper. I love this book, it's one of my favorite books. This is volume 1 and this is volume 2. 2,000 pages. 
worth the time. Next, let's move on to some sci-fi and more. Red Rising, or Furia Vermelha, a Brazilian edition. Golden Sun, and I still have to buy the third one. Maybe I won't do it. And the Foundation Trilogy, a paperback collection. Here I have Foundation, Foundation and Empire, and Second Foundation, and I still have to read this series by Isaac Asimov. Moving on, I have a Brazilian edition of Jurassic Park. This edition is paperback, but it looks good. Um, national book called Honey, You Sino da Divisão. It's a Brazilian one, so what's the point? Here we have a Star Wars, the original trilogy, and a special edition of Neuromancer, a special edition of A Clockwork Orange, a Brazilian edition, Hellraiser, yeah, the edition is really cool, a really nice hardcover, but I still have to read this book. And another cool edition, I Am Legend, I still have to read this one, but I heard great things about it. I don't have a copy in English, so I'll probably read this one in Portuguese. 2001 A Space Odyssey. A really nice book. And Planet of the Apes. This one looks interesting. Also, it's paperback, but the design is really nice. I enjoy it a lot. So let's move on to Vampires. Here I have some books by Anne Rice. I love her. So here I have Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Lesta, Queen of the Damned, Ugh, terrible design, Memnoch the Devil, and Blackwood Farm, really nice, Blood and Gold is one I have to read, and Blood Canticle, I still have to read this one. And finally I have here Interview with the Vampire, a graphic novel that tells a story from the point of view of Claudia and the artwork is really nice, I really enjoy this edition. This one is in Portuguese, but there is an original American edition of this graphic novel. And last here <laughs> I have Beetle the Bard and some fairy tales, some translations to Portuguese, this little copy here. This was the third part of my bookshelf tour. If you had the patience to continue watching this video, I still have more two videos to upload and I'll show you guys my YA books, books about books, more classics. I hope you enjoy my bookshelf tours. See ya in the next video. Bye bye.